Quantum GIS Intro Part 6, where we look at managing the plugins. So, on your Quantum GIS menu, you've got plugins, and you've got Fetch Python plugins and Manage plugins. So, the first thing you want to do is fetch the plugins. And we are going to get the third party plugins under the repositories. So you can see we're connected to the official plugin repository from Quantum. We want to add the third parties. So basically we want to say yes, we want everybody's goodies. And now you can see we're connected to all these different repositories. When we go to the plugin menu now, we've got quite a lot to choose from, so we can always search and we want to get the delimited text which I'm not finding. How about uh, CSV? Um, let's try the SLD first. We want to get save as SLD so we'll install that. That's installed. And we want to get the table manager right here. Table manager and now that's installed. So we'll close this and we'll go to our plugins. And now you can find the table manager and that does some pretty good things. One thing it allows you to do is actually choose a field and just delete it or change the orders of the fields. And there's some other nice functions you can get out of it as well. Um, the other plugin I just did was Save as SLD, which is good for taking some symbology and exporting it to SLD. In this case, it's uh, been grayed out, but if we set some symbols using the properties, we should be able to save it out to a style layer descriptor and that's useful for various applications that use that type of XML style description. So that's the simple preview of plugins. There's quite a lot more you can do with it. I already added the shapefile to Postgres plugin earlier and we will look at how to use those plugins next.